So the last part of this section are some application and the problem solving problems. So the first one, August 22nd. So back at the very beginning of the school year, I went shopping around Great Falls. The beginning balance on my debit card was $160. So first, I went grocery shopping at Smith's, and I purchased $65 worth of produce. Second, I went to TJ Maxx and bought a new backpack for $29.95. While I was out, I got paid, and a direct deposit of $250 was added to my account. Celebrating, I took my friend and I out for ice cream. The bill totaled $12.50. Let V be the ending balance of my bank account. What was the balance at the end of the day? So, V is my ending balance. We literally just want to write out an equation that represents what am I going to have in the end. So, what did I start with? The beginning balance on my debit card was 160. So, I had that in my pocket. It was positive. But, I went grocery shopping and I spent $65. So, from that, I'm removing $65. Second, I went to TJ Maxx and bought a new backpack. So, I bought something. I need to subtract off the purchase price. And then I got paid. So, I gained $250. And then we celebrated and I took my friend and I out for ice cream. And all together, that was $12.50. So, how much money was I left with in the end? If we combine all of these. And you can off in the margin or using a calculator if you want for these kinds of examples. We were left with 302.55. Okay? So whenever we have application problems, we want to have units on that. What are we talking about for B? What is this value and why did I only keep two place values? We're talking about money, so it makes sense. So my units on this are going to be dollars. And we usually sum it up in a sentence. The end balance was 302.55. As someone who hasn't read the problem, they should be able to see the answer and know exactly what you concluded. All right, so for you to try, resident tuition and fees for this class, roughly $442. Today you have to pay your tuition bill. You also purchase the textbook for $227.60 and the My Math Lab Code for $113.99. Lunch at the cafe totaled $6.50 and you also purchased a t-shirt for $21.99. Your initial balance in your checking account read $700. Will you have enough funds for those purchases or how much money are you going to need to borrow from your mother? So figure it out. So whenever we're working with application problems, we need to assign a variable to what we're trying to figure out. So I'm going to let E be the ending balance in this case, since I used B before. So what's that looking like? What was your setup? Initially, we had $700 in the checking account. So that was positive. That's what we started with. And you had to pay the tuition bill of $442. That's a good chunk out of your $700. You also bought the textbook and then my math lab code. In addition, you bought lunch and bought a t-shirt. So all together, your ending balance, if you did it correctly, was negative 112.08. And again, what units are we talking about? The balance, so money at the end. So what's going to have to happen? I will have to borrow $112.08 from my mom. No one likes to borrow money. Nope. Okay. <laughs> but in our answer, we didn't write, I have to borrow negative. $112. So again, we have to have the right connotation. Are we talking about the opposite? Are we talking about the part as a whole? 